Hi Play Traders, I'm using the beautiful landscape of Vancouver right behind me to talk with you a little bit about why you should be a trader and maybe not better be an investor because that's really quite a difference. And where's the difference? So as a trader, you're very, very flexible, you're short term, you're not long term and you can react very immediately on things that happening as an investor. It's completely different. Why? Well, guys, actually, I'm pretty sure you followed recent news and price action in, let's say, Netflix. So just imagine you invested all of your savings into one simple single stock like Netflix. And whenever people say, yeah, well, trading is very, very dangerous. It's, it's, it's very more comfortable and it's not that dangerous to invest in a single stock or like in a portfolio. Uh, so why not being an investor instead of a trader? So when you look at Netflix, for example, look at the chart. So what do you see? You see, like in the last week, a price drop, a recent price drop of like 30%, which comes, which brings the stock down from like 340 down to 220, 270 US dollar within a second from the night to the morning. So when you're an investor, you immediately lost 30% of your account. So which means, or your investment in that certain particular stock, which means that without any any management possibilities, without any any possibility and opportunity to get out of the trade, you lost 30% of your money. As a trader, things are different. Why? Because you can place a stop loss and you need to do so. Why? Because you don't want to lose all your money, right? And as a trader, you can place your stop loss, you can go over into management mode after you open your position and you can react in real time on situations especially if you're trading intraday usually i'm not talking about a black swan which of course can appear once in a while but usually under normal circumstances under normal market condition in a normal market environment you will not experience it you lose like 30 percent of your account or your money all your experiences might be a, a harsh price move but still when you follow your trading plan or when you follow your technical analysis, well, all that can happen is that your stop loss is touched and you have maybe a little bit of slippage. But that's all there is. And even though you might get, well, let's say, a little bit more than you expected that you're planning to, you, you will not lose 30% of your account. And the opposite is true. By being a trader, you can you can profit, you can make profits by really harsh and intense price moves. As an investor, it's not that easy because of course you you have to you can go short, but it's not that easy like if you're going with a CFD or in the future or like like other financial products, you you can easily short a certain stock, you can easily short an index. It's not that easy as an investor. So it's also very, very important to know. So as a play trader, aiming for short-term profits, going into a tournament, for you, it's key to react on market situations. For you, it's key to go short-term and also have profit target and of course a stop loss to protect your money. As an investor, well, what good is a stop loss if you wake up 30% down in your investment of course there is no reason to be to be in a position like this even though you believe in a company even though you feel like yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm going with Netflix or I'm going with a certain company still there is the risk that somehow numbers are wrong business change you have new competitors coming in as a trader all of these things don't have to worry and bother you as an investor or well, might do and they will do so think about this play trader and uh, make your decision do you want to be investor or do you want to be a trader do you want to be like victim of a really really harsh price move of bad management of bad management decision or do you want to be a trader being in charge on your own for your own for your 
own profits, but of course also for your own losses, but being able to react on certain situations and then of course taking action and profit from both sides of the trade, the long one as well as the short one. So my decision is clear and I already made them a long time ago. So now it's up to you. We want to be trader or investor, play trader. See you soon.